It's straight up the Szechuan pepper. All the numbing. Lips, tongue. Mm. It's the best. Good evening everyone, I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from Punica District in Bhutan. Right behind me we have the Punica Fortress and today is March 5th, 2020 and that marks the beginning of the Punica Festival, one of the most important festivals in the country. We're gonna go inside now, we're gonna see a bit of it. It's 3 p.m., it lasts uh, till like 4, 4.30, so it starts at 9 a.m., finishes at 4 p.m. and then after this, we're gonna go see the longest suspension bridge in the country. Then we're going to go to the town, we're going to try some whiskey, some brandy, some beer. Then we're going to finally go to the hotel and have some dinner. Bhutanese food for dinner? Yes. <laughs> Good job. David, the program happening right now, it is about a hunter, a servant, he have a dog. They go for hunting, so they could able to like get a stand, a deer, and there was a meditation master who is called as Miller Rapper. So Miller Rapper with his song tamed the mind of a hunter, converted him into Buddhism, make him follow Buddhist. So the drama basically it talks about Buddhists of non-violence. <laughs> Right now, the two horns that belongs to the hunter and the meat, the two horns, the two dogs brought a stack with them. So they are performing about the stack, a dance about the stack and the two horns. Yeah, I actually like this one the most. And as you can see, I mean, so many people who just gathered around and it's basically like uh, telling a story, right? Each, each one is depicting a story yes. of something that, that's happening. Yes. And yeah, I mean, how many people are here? Uh, not more than like two thousand. Yeah, around two to three thousand. Two to three thousand. Like yeah. 3, I mean, it's like the whole ground floor, and then upstairs in the balconies, it's packed as well. Yeah. And it's all day long. It starts like at nine in the morning to like four or five p.m. Yes, around four thirty or five. Four thirty yes. five, and it's how it is. Just like this. Just yes. Different, different scenes. Different dance, you can see the different dance. A prayer wheel. So inside a prayer wheel, they have like hundred thousand volumes of prayer. We need to do a circumambulation in order to gain a merit. So it's a prayer bell. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's fast. And this bridge is so it's a wooden bridge and it's one of the best spastic photos from what I've seen. I would say yes. Okay, so we witnessed the festival. That was awesome. Loved it, man. I really wish we can get like super close to them, but unfortunately we just keep our distance. <laughs> but it was awesome. I mean, you see them basically telling a story, right? It's like a mini opera in a way. Yes. And yeah, so now we're gonna go to the to the bridge. To the longest suspension bridge. This is the longest suspension bridge we have in Bhutan. It is 160 meters long and it is built on the male river. So in Punaka we have two rivers. We have female river and we have male river. So the longest suspension bridge has been built on the through the male river, I would say. We made it. There it is. Suspension bridge. It's just in the middle of here in this valley, huh? Beautiful. All the rivers here are very shallow like that, right? So super low shallow rivers. This is a very big uh, tourist spot, obviously, because because of the festival, lots of people here. That's why I have so many people crossing right now. 
At the ice game, they're playing for money. Oh yeah? Yeah. So they're gambling right there? Yeah, kind of. And then over here we have some snacks for sale. That looks amazing. How many feet you said? It's like 160 meters. So 160 meters? Yeah. It's times three. Yeah, 60 meters. Wow. And these are all just basically uh, prayer, flag. prayer flags. You could see the five colors. Yeah. Blue, white, red, green, and yellow. Incredible bridge, man. It's wide, it's safe. Oh man, and the air. The air quality in Bhutan is like unreal. Bhutan is a carbon negative country. A carbon negative? Yes, carbon negative country. We produce more oxygen than carbon dioxide. <laughs> oh man, there's so many people on it now. You can't even like, every time you, you like stand, for a second stand still, it just starts to move. It starts to bounce like really, really fast. I'm trying to get some shots here and I can't. It's just, uh, it just doesn't stop moving. I think from the top is gonna be a lot easier. And yeah, this is it guys. Epic views from this bridge. Incredible views, look at this. Wow, love this. And there's also some uh, some ducks over here. You said some migrant ducks. Bhutan, Bhutan's unreal. I've, I've been wanting to come to this country my whole life for at least the past 10 years. So not my whole life, but at least the past 10 years. I've, uh, I've known about it, I've wanted to come. So happy I'm here. Suspension Bridge is a definite must visit when you come to the fortress. Woo. See, it's a lot easier when you get up here, stop swaying. What are they doing, they play a game? Yeah, it's a dart game. A dart game? Yeah, where we need to play something. So you just throw the dart, would you win anything? No. For a pair of arrows, it costs 50 new. If you hit that small target, you get 100 new back. <laughs> so do I try it? Are you gonna try it? My man, these are the biggest darts I've ever seen. I've never thrown darts this big. <laughs> and you have to hit that little target. Yes. <laughs> How are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, my turn. So where's the line? Yeah. yeah. Can't catch a break here. <laughs> so we spent what? 200? No. Yes. Oh my god. It just happens only when they have the festival in this area. I mean, they basically just have these huge darts mm -hmm. and they set up a little stick there, like a little target. That's it. Yes. So for the dart. So cross the bridge, play some darts, go to the gift shop, and then come back. It takes you like 30 minutes in total. Pretty cool experience. A must do if you're here, obviously. I mean, we're also gonna get these beautiful views and this amazing air, air quality up here. Incredible. Now we're gonna see these guys playing the game again. Hey, people are so nice here. Whew, I'm out of breath. So T, how far is the town from here? Before, the town of Punaka used to be quite near to the fortress. So later, the plant to ship the town from here. The town which we are going, it's called it's Kurutang. It is the plant town of Punaka. Let's go. We drove for 10 minutes and now we arrived here in the new town of Punukana. Punaka. 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 Yeah. The name of the town is called it's Kurutang. It is a new town. I thought we were gonna try some beer, some brandy, and some okay. whiskey. Yeah. I'll take you to a restaurant where you can Try some? Okay. Cool. Beautiful buildings, man. I love the, the style. Only in Bhutan can you see the style. Yes. And always so colorful at the bases. You have the dragon? Is the dragon right there? Yeah. This is the one. This is the one thing I love about the Bhutanese architecture. All the colors, the lion, the snake, tiger. Funny, we're having trouble finding a place that has alcohol. The government. They stopped like issuing a bar license to all the shops. That's why it's hard to find a bar in a restaurant. 
So you have to find just a restaurant that has alcohol. Yeah. So no bar. No bars. So we seem to have found a place that has beer. No brandy, no whiskey. But Bhutan does make brandy and whiskey. But I guess we can't find it right now in this town. At least we're gonna try some beer though. We're gonna try some Bhutan beer. And right here we have Druk 11,000. This is a beer from Bhutan where you said 8%. So this is like Kingfisher Strong. That's what it looks like to me. Similar, right? Yeah, very similar to Kingfisher Strong. Mm. Hey man, strong beer, 8%, and it's, and it's not small at all. I mean, this is, this is a dope beer, 650 milliliters? Yeah. It's a big beer. And what he was telling me that we're gonna try some spicy meat on the, alongside it. So usually people here in Bhutan, when they drink, they eat something with alcohol. And here we go, spicy liver. Ooh, looks so good. You got peppers, you have chilies throughout, and you have liver. Mmm. Oh wow. So freaking tender and buttery. Ooh, spicy, super spicy. Mm-hmm. So you need this to wash it down. Mmm. It's like numbing spice. It's like Szechuan. Oh, my lips are numb. Oh. Too hot, man. I like it though. I can eat a whole plate of this. You know, no idea what this is. If you like liver, good. It's amazing. This is too good a plate, man. Wow. Look at this. I know we have dinner later, but this is my type of appetizer. Super spicy. So good. Fuego. Mm. Cheers to Bhutan. So numbing. So spicy. Ooh, I need just a little more. Just a little more before dinner. I don't think I can finish this plate. You're gonna have to help me, T. Ooh. Mm. Only one last bite. I can't even believe it. I've never had a liver dish this good. Yeah, never. It's straight up with Szechuan pepper. All numbing. Lips, tongue. Mm. It's the best. It pairs really well with the beer. Mmm. Oh, it's good. Whew. So I think um, I think we're done, right? Let's go for dinner. Hotel. Bhutanese dinner at the hotel. I'm actually really, really hungry right now. Uh, it's been a while since we ate. It's been like six plus hours. That liver was just an appetizer. So I'm in 203? Yes. So what's the name of the resort? Duchu Resort. Duchu Resort, okay. All right, I got dinner in an hour. But first, I'm gonna check into my room. I'm gonna take a quick shower. And this is my room, my first night in Bhutan. I love it, super traditional, lots of space. Look at this. So you have two chairs here, a small table, you have a desk if you wanna go work, right? TV, king size bed, heater, bathroom over here, right? So you got the bathroom, shower, tub, and over here, you can set up and put all my clothes out, which I'm gonna do, because I'm gonna be here for two nights. So I gotta take everything out. And yeah, guys, I'm gonna relax, take a shower, and then go to dinner. I'll see you guys in 45 minutes. So I came here to the restaurant of the resort, and it's right at the bottom of the lobby. So you have to go through the lobby, go downstairs, and here you are, big dining room. In the middle, you have buffet. Everybody's doing buffet. I'm not doing buffet. I'm going Bhutanese, so I got five things. I'm starting off with a pumpkin soup. Then over here, I have red rice. I have chili cheese, so chili and cheese. I have chili and cheese over here with potatoes, and then here's chicken curry. So let's start off with the pumpkin soup. Oh, whoa. Mm. Oh man, super light, but spicy. Oh wow. So, you have chunks of potato in here. What else do you have in here? Some corn. Mm -hmm. 
so I got some onion and a little bit of rice as well. Mm. It's nice, it's not like a super thick soup, it's more like uh, it's watered down. Look at this chili. Cheese and chilies. Red pepper, melted cheese and chilies and onions. Over here I'm gonna get some of the chili cheese with potatoes. This is their chicken curry. So as you can see, it's not like a regular chicken curry like in India where it's just big chunks of chicken with curry. This is more like a watered down curry, a little red. So as you can tell, it's spicy for sure. And you have chilies, onions, green onions. You have dices of chicken. Serve it up. So I think the first thing I'm gonna start with is this cheese and chili. This is gonna be spicy. Oh wow, Ooh. it's not hot, it's so spicy. Mm. The red rice really like combats it. Whoa, it's like straight chilies. It's good, but damn, it's so spicy. Mm. Love the cheese. Melted throughout, so good. Right here, the same thing, but with potatoes. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a potato salad with a super spicy chili and cheese throughout. Wow, that is a good potato salad. Cool. So hot, so hot. And right here we have the chicken. I like how they diced it up. Mm. Oh wow, that's awesome. That's light. Good chunks, so it's not like huge bites with bone. It's already cut up. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh. They lost power. They don't know when they're getting back. So I moved over here to the bar area. Pretty good area. Lit up a little bit at least. Continue my food. Yeah. So like I was saying, the, the chilies are super hot. Mm. Straight hot chilies. With cheese. The thing we have to do with this is mix it. Alright, mix it in there. Chili cheese with the red rice. The red rice really calms down the heat. I'm really surprised that there's so much hot food in Bhutan. I had no idea. Extremely good, extremely hot. It's intense. What an experience tonight with the uh, with light, right? But it's all good guys. We had a great day. I mean, it started off with the festival at the fortress. Pretty epic spot, saw the festival. We saw like about an hour of the festival. It's the whole day from 9 a.m. to around 4 p.m. for three days straight starting March 5th, 6th, 7th. We're also gonna go back tomorrow so we can see some more of the festival in the morning. And every single time it's different. It's not exactly the same routine, but you know, same spot, similar situation. And after that we saw the hanging bridge, we crossed it and then we threw some darts. It was really, really fun. Then came back and then we went to the town and then I tried some super, super, super spicy liver, like Szechuan style spice, like numbing spice. Really spicy with a good beer, you know, really strong beer, like 8% beer. I actually like the beer, I think it's Kudruk 11,000. And then we came here to the resort, checked in the resort, went to the room, got ready, came to dinner, tried five things. Obviously the red rice is a staple, you're gonna have that every single time you eat, like every single time, that's what they produce here in Bhutan. The chicken curry, Really good, really different. You know, it's a mix. It's like diced chicken with uh, with vegetables. Then we had the cheese chili or the chili cheese or whatever it's called. So hot, so good, but so, so hot. Like too hot. We also had the same thing, but with potatoes. That was lighter, because less chilies. And we had the pumpkin soup, which is really good. I didn't finish that at all. I let it sit there for a while. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the day. It really was an epic experience. I love Bhutan. And if you guys love this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Bhutan. I'm gonna have a little more. Oh man, these two are too much, but they're good.